Hello, this is a short video to uh, help you to know what kind of pictures to send, or better still, make a video, if you can, of the piano, if you're wanting to sell a piano to us. Uh, this is a Blue Grand piano, as you can see. After you've shown all the casework and any defects particularly, this is in our showroom, so there's a small defect there, which would like to be able to see defects like that. Also, a close-up of the pedals, that tells us how much the piano has been used, because the right-hand one's always used more than the left. In this case, um, some of the lacquer's worn off that they put on. Uh, this is a fully restored piano, uh, so obviously the case is uh, good on this, and we'll perfect it as well. So if you've got a restored piano, we'd like to be able to see the colour as well. Um, so if you can put the lid down. And the whole top lid down as well. Uh, um, very often when the top lid's been held back, a long time then this color is much darker than the back color so that's really important for us to know about that this one obviously is integrated it's been kept in uh, out of the light so that's very helpful now if you could also slide the music desk off most pianos have a sliding music desk and then want to have a look at what's underneath there so we can look at the tuning pins and uh, this is uh, let's say being restored so they should be pretty perfect but particularly want to see if any of the pins have been knocked in so uh, you'll be able to see that if you look at the let's look at it the other side might be better so particularly in this area very often you can see the pins have been knocked in a little bit in which case they might be slightly loose obviously these are not loose there's a new rest plank too the serial number is not normally here on the on the uh blutner grand it's underneath the, the label here so that would, the serial number would be under here there's another blutner grand that we have the serial numbers here normally it's actually completely underneath that logo uh sorry the uh decal but um, that's where you kind of place to expect to find it. This is an Ibark Grand Piano, um, one of our favourite makes really. And it's important to see this because that's actually underneath the top polish. So we can't make that any, any cleaner because if you can see it's slightly dull. Uh, so that's something we can't improve and useful to know if there's that kind of thing uh, on your piano. These, these aren't ivory keys, but if they were, you'd see a line here. So if you've got ivory keys and the line's stronger on some than others, that's really important to know. And also if there's any chips, obviously, on the side, that's very important. This uh, Ibark piano has a serial number here, and that's very common on, on modern grands particularly. Um, and uh, we just, we've obviously cleaned this up as well, so it was second-hand piano, so we've, it's had dust and so on. But again, we want to see if those have been docked in a, at all. And it usually happens um, between the bass and the tenor area here. So if they've not been knocked in, that means they're a bit uh, a bit looser than we perhaps like them to be. May, may need to have to repin the piano. And by the way, it's also good for us to see the soundboard, see if there's any cracks on it. And this one's got some lines on it, as you can see, and it's a bit of crazing too. Um, so it's useful to know about that. That's the original decal on the Ibark Grand. It's also important for us to know if there's any scratching on uh, the black polyester here. This one's got a scratch here, which would be hard for us to remove. We have actually had somebody in to try and remove all the scratching, so he's uh, an expert at this kind of finish for another company. Um, we can obviously improve it, but uh, if the expert's been at it and we can't, he can't get rid of those, then obviously it's as perfect as it'll get. So very important for us to know about that. It's quite useful for us to see under the piano too, but if you can't get to it, don't worry. Um, but this is a Beckstein, and they have two numbers. They have one underneath here and another one on the top. Very often the top one's missing, so you'll find another one underneath, which isn't actually the official serial number, but it helps us to date the piano. It's also useful for us to see if the dampers are going up and down evenly. So if you press the right-hand pedal, that will show us whether the dampers are going up and down. And if you can, also push the hammers towards the string so we can see... Um, if there's a, what kind of indentation there is on them. Uh, this one we've marked ourselves with this marked uh, just so we can see how far they travel when they travel um, for the unicorder. So, um, but if you, if you can push them up and if you can possibly even look sideways on them, that'd be very helpful too. Finally, we'd love to be able to hear the piano. So if you can play every key, starting with the white ones. And just running through them. Till you get right up to the top, about that speed. So I make mistakes, so if you make mistakes it won't be a problem. Uh, not used to playing it like that. And then the sharps. 
Again, don't worry about if you make a mistake. But it's good to hear them tell us they're very out of tune. If they sound as we expect them to sound for that piano. So I hope that was helpful. Um, please send either a video if you can or photographs that show those things. Thank you very much.